YouTube video. Today is Friday. The sun is shining. This is going to be a New York girls weekend vlog. Jessica is visiting. My friend Jessica from Paris. Well, <laughs> she's American, but some of you guys might know her as from Paris because she lived there for a little bit and I would go visit her. So yeah, she's coming. I feel like it's been a minute since I vlogged because the last video that I put up was my bachelorette vlog. So since then, I have just been here in New York and it's uh, been pretty like nice and sunny out and I'm really excited for this weekend. So in preparation for Jessica coming, I just, you know, tidied up a bit around the house. I got some flowers here and there. I'm just gonna continue tidying up a little bit. I got some pretty spring tulips and some like snacks and stuff of course and i'm really excited to have a fun weekend i like planned an entire itinerary for her visit because yeah i don't know her and i do that we always create like a notepad together like when i visit her in paris she put together an itinerary vice versa when she comes to me in new york i put together an itinerary and we're, we always do so such fun girly things together so i can't wait to show you guys what we get up to this weekend but yeah so much exciting fun stuff has been happening especially with wedding planning and everything last weekend lyle and i did dance lessons together which was so much fun Yesterday, I picked up my wedding gown, which is right here in this white garment bag, and things are really just starting to come together. It's less than two months until the wedding, so the countdown is on, and I'm getting into all of my like little details. We're also leaving for our honeymoon a week after our wedding, so I've been planning my honeymoon outfits. I've been getting like stuff coming in the mail. I actually have two packages in front of me right now that I've been dying to open. So I think before Jessica gets here, I might just see what these are. Oh, okay. So I don't know if I've told you guys what we're doing for our honeymoon yet, but we're doing a couple different things. So first we're going to the Maldives and then we are going to South Africa. We're going to Cape Town just to see Cape Town and then do wine country and then go on an African safari. So I have been planning outfits for like beach stuff in the Maldives and then like safari like outfits. So the package that I just opened is two different tops from Skims actually. I've never bought anything from Skims before for the safari aspect of the trip. So they are just so when we go there, since it's going to be in May and June, it's going to be more fall time there. So long sleeves, I got this long sleeve, just like top. I'm gonna try it on and see if it fits. It seems like pretty good quality, just kind of like tight fitted. And then this is more of a lighter green color. I read that it's good to just wear natural sort of tones, things that are like natural in the wilderness, I guess, not like bright colors because obviously there's animals out there that <laughs> could be dangerous, I guess. So better to just stick to like neutral natural tones. So I got those two tops and then I think that this is some swimsuits. Yeah, it is. I ordered a couple pieces from Same. I have had my eye on these for a while and I finally just bought them. I, for me, it's like if I see something that I really want and then sometimes I'll wait like weeks or even months to see if I'm still thinking about it and I still want it and if I am, then I'll get it. And that was the case with this swimsuit. So this is a one piece and it has these cute little rosette details on it. It looks like this. I'll put the picture on the screen up beside it so you can compare. But yeah, it's like a neutral, sort of more of like a beige off-white color. And it comes up around the neck. I don't think I'm going to try the these things on on camera because, you know, I, uh, <laughs> I guess I just 
I don't know if I want to try the swimsuit a swimsuit on on camera especially since you have to try it on with your underwear then it looks kind of funny so <laughs> but yeah so that's the one piece and I just thought it was so elegant with these rosette details and like the cutouts I thought was cute so I ordered a size medium so we'll s I'll let you know how the fit is and then I got a bikini so I have the top in the bottoms it's like a black and white so this is the top and it just kind of has like a stripe it reminds me of like Meredith Blake from the parent the parent trap kind of a thing it's just kind of like a bra top looking honestly and then the bottoms I think these are adjustable yes it is adjustable so these are the bottoms as you can see I pulled this up I was like this doesn't really cover that much but I was just playing around with it because you can see it's kind of ruched like this you can pull this and adjust it um, for more coverage in the back at least it seems I'm going to try it on and see um, but yeah so two swimsuits and some safari tops so mm, everything is happening <laughs> okay guys so it's Friday night now I the plans for the tonight are to get dinner with two other girls so there's gonna be four girls at this dinner me Jessica and then two other friends um, I just before we go so we're going to 23 grand it's in Soho I haven't been before but I've heard good things it looks good menu looks good vibes look good so I'm excited to see it uh, but I wanted to show you guys my outfit before we go so I just got this top from Zara it's like an off-the-shoulder kind of ruched white top um, I don't really normally wear off the shoulder, but I'm really liking it, especially paired with this necklace. So I got this tiny, tiny little pearl necklace when I was in Capri last summer. And then I paired it with my Monica Vinader, uh just single pearl necklace. I feel like it looks really nice layered together. And then I paired it with this skirt. I wasn't so sure about the colors of like the white and the off-white, but I think that the polka dots balance it out. And with the shoes as well, it balances it out. These are my Corel shoes that I got in Paris. They're the black patent leather. So this is really cute. And then I'm gonna pair it with this YSL bag that I have. I feel like this look is really nice and fun. And I love that the weather is finally warm outside so I can kind of wear this. I am still gonna throw a jacket on over this. I don't know which one yet, but I'm gonna throw one on because since it is, the sun has gone down now, the temperature has dropped a bit. But yeah, it's nice that I can finally like wear a skirt. It's turning into spring. So we're just gonna head to dinner and I will see you guys there. It is Saturday morning. I'm just sitting right in front of the window doing my makeup. Um, I've got my makeup mirror right here. And last night was really fun. So it was the four of us and we went to this place called 23 Grand. It was in Soho, more West Soho though. We shared this like giant crudite, which was it was very pretty the way that it looked. It came out and it was like all these carrots and lettuce and cucumbers and tomatoes all with like three different dips. 
so we got our veggies in and then we got our mains I got a Branzino and it was very good and yeah and then afterwards Jessica and I wanted to just like grab a drink we tried to go to some place it wasn't really the vibe and then we went to the public hotel and we went to the rooftop and that's where I probably showed you the clips of like those stairs that have the mirrors and it's a reflecting kind of like orange light and then you go up and it's a rooftop of course and so you can see the skyline and it's really pretty we're there for like a little bit and then we just came home and went to bed and like not crazy at all but yeah today's saturday we're just kind of kind of get ready for the day loose like no super specific plans today probably just like walking around a little bit shopping that kind of stuff and then we have like a reservation at one to go to marie bell which is in soho it is a they do like a chocolate kind of uh tasting thing they're known for their chocolate so we might stop there and yeah just kind of have a chill day and then we have dinner plans tonight so I'm just kind of getting ready for the day. It's still pretty nice out. It's not as warm as it was the last two days. It's probably like in the low 50s today. So I'll still need a jacket, but I feel like I don't really need to like bundle up like I have been needing to most of this winter in New York. So yeah, just a sunny Saturday in the city. Okay, guys, so this is just way too funny. So I have this dress that I've been meaning to wear. I'm wearing my Quince, um, is it? quince yeah the the um slip dress that i bought underneath it because otherwise this is completely sheer it's love shack fancy from a sample sale but anyways it's kind of big and loose so i felt like it needed a belt so i was pulling out all of my belts i keep them in like this box and i didn't feel like i had one that went with the dress really except for this one however this one is it was too big like it was only meant to fit like at my hips but it wasn't small enough to fit as like a waist belt and so Jessica was like do you have a drill do you have a hammer let's just like poke a hole in it so we pulled out the the whatever power drill I guess and um we uh, and then I have this pink tool kit which my mom got me in college and has stayed with me ever since then I have all these like pink tools in them anyways like a pink hammer and Jessica literally just took the belt I like measured put hammered it in so made a new hole and then with scissors we just cut off the very end and you cannot even tell I'm like we're like I feel like we're in like fashion school right now trying to figure out how to like change the garments but yeah and now it works and it's really cute this is just it's not real leather it's from Zara so I was also like whatever let's just experiment on it it came with a pair of shorts that I bought last summer so it was like you know not like an expensive belt or anything like that so yeah cute little outfit I'm loving for spring this year just wearing maxi dresses that are long sleeve I really want to find more of them because I just think that they're so elegant and pretty and it's like a way of wearing a dress but still being warm with the long sleeves and the long length in the springtime yeah it's just so cute so anyways yeah we're gonna leave in a little bit but I just thought that I would share that with you because I thought it was kind of funny Okay, these are the shoes that she just got from whoop, that she just got from Dolce Vita. They're like flats, right? Yeah, they're super comfortable, super soft, good price point, and I think they're good for everyday use. 
And then I told you guys my dress is from Love Shack Fancy. And I love it with this like, I don't know, coat thing that I got from Zara a while ago. It feels like a Lily Vanderwood's moment. <laughs> I love it. So cute. Okay, we're gonna go have tea and chocolate and enjoy the afternoon. Yes. <laughs> It was so good. We didn't end up going for the full tea, like afternoon tea tower. Instead, we did like, we shared, what? What? I think you said you look great. Oh my gosh. Anyways, we didn't do the whole tea tower. We instead shared just the selection of sandwiches and then we got dessert and it was so good. They're known for their chocolate. We only got a little bit of chocolate. Next time I go back, I'll need to get more chocolate. But anyways, I'm standing right behind. There's this place, Rouge. So if anyone's been following my channel for a long time, you guys know that, that I love Rouge. It's a French brand, French brand by Jeanne de Ma. Um, that's the logo right there. I wear her shoes all the time, literally on purpose. <laughs> Wow, so I train of thought. Shoes all the time. Rouge, you love their stuff. Yes, I wear their shoes, their lipstick. I have their lipstick palettes in my bag right now. Anyways, I visited them when I was in France and there is a store in New York and I saw them building it and I forgot that it was here. So anyways, we're gonna check it out. <laughs> Jessica and I are out here on my roof 
We're having a little picnic. We're done with our shopping day. We did so much shopping in Soho that now we were so tired. We're like, let's come home, put some comfy clothes on, warm clothes, <laughs> and just have a little picnic with a French baguette, some cheese, and some really good butter and fruit. Yeah. <laughs> and a bit of a squirrel knife <laughs> in the fig spread. And let's emphasize the French butter. And the French butter. That butter is so good. It's like yes. salty. Yeah. We're ready.
Whew. All right, it's a little windy, but we've come up to the High Line after our brunch. <laughs> we had a little bit, a little bit of a shopping. We went into DVF. Apparently, Jessica told me they're releasing a line with Target on, on next Saturday. Saturday. So that's fun. I know her like wrap dresses are really iconic. And we went into Maj and I tried on this dress and I'm so <laughs> the interruptions this vlog. Um all all the little like the trees, they're blooming, all the little buds, it's like spring is coming. Anyways, I tried on a dress at Maj and it was so cute, it'd be so perfect for honeymoon in Maldives. But anyways, we're at the High Line, so like Ari's rooftop is in meat packing, and then if you're in the area, a nice, like, free, fun thing to do is to come on the High Line, and you'll see, like, random steps going up to it. It's an old train track that they turned into a walkway, and in the summer and, like, springtime when things are bloomed, it's really nice as well because there's, like, flowers and stuff, and it's really peaceful. Um, we just walked by a girl that was, like, reading a book. <laughs> it's nice. Um, so, yeah, we're just going on a nice little walk. at my apartment I put my cozy sweatshirt on Jessica just left so sad she is heading back home it is Sunday evening now so we both have work tomorrow and you know gotta get ready for the work week but it was a really fun girls weekend and Lyle just got back so I got to hear all about his bachelor party and yeah we just got some food ordered for dinner so I'm just gonna enjoy dinner with Lyle and I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog um, definitely make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and check out the fashion squirrel as well over on Instagram and hopefully I'll see you guys next time okay bye